hit record. Wonderful. Okay. I'll clap so I can sync my sound later. Um, so, speaker voltage. When I connect it, it pushes the speaker cone out. When I let go, it, it goes back to its position of rest. Can you guys see the movement on the, on the screen up there? OK. Uh, if I reverse the process, just reverse the connections, I can actually make it go in. See how it's going down now? OK. Uh, now, I wouldn't want to hold it there, because then I'm just applying a constant current, and it actually will start to uh, make a little bit of smoke. And uh, I've done that before. It's not, not good. So, uh, so I just make the connection and then release to move the speaker cone. Okay. Um, so effectively, what we're doing with the circuitry is we are, um, um, let's see, does this have a mute? Uh, the, the, sorry, the, the echo is actually distracting me. So uh, it has AV mute, it has volume. Can I turn the volume down? Did that kill the echo? Yes. OK, perfect. OK, so um, moving the speaker cone in and out. So just applying a voltage will move the speaker cone. OK, we can actually then. Um, we could take a, a variable resistor and regulate the flow. Let's see, we've got that and that. So um, if you're familiar with all your knobs on a mixer, this is actually like what's behind the knob. So when you have a mixer with a knob on it, you're, you're actually, you're turning this little bit above the surface. Below the surface is a disk that, when you turn it, actually varies the resistance in the circuitry. OK? That's what it is. Um, and if I do this, I can't do it for too long, because like I said, it needs to, oh, it's not going to do it for me. We see it moving. It's a little, I mean. It's only on the, the usable range is actually pretty short. But effectively, what I'm doing is I'm regulating the flow of electricity with this knob to turn it up or down. Okay. Now, of course, I'm applying a constant flow of electricity. That's why it's just moving. Okay. And the reason we get a click is because it's moving very suddenly. It's suddenly going from rest to full extension. Rest to full extension. Okay. That's that's the click that we hear. Okay. Uh, we need something more subtle in order to start making. Um, uh, a tone, okay, and that is where we can first, if we can, um, if we can make and break the connection, which pop tops are fun with that, for, for that, okay. So I've just got some soda can pop tops here, um, and I can actually use the speaker to make and break its own connection. So I'm starting to get a tone, yes? OK. Do you guys not see? Do I, let's see. Should I move it? Because I'm at the bottom of the screen, you can't see it back there, Ruben? That better up there? I'm, I'm going to run out of table, though, if I go too much, too much farther, OK? Basically, all I'm doing with this is the speaker is jutting out, moving my hand up, making a connection, and then coming, kicking it back, basically. So. So it's, it's the speaker cone itself is actually moving my hand, shaking it a little bit, causing it to make and break the connection and start to generate a tone. But it's the making and breaking the connection, the connection uh, being there and then not being there that actually starts to generate the tone. Okay. Um, so instead of it just being a single click. Okay. Um, let's see. So then uh, the next step up would be to actually use some circuitry to create a oscillator, okay, which is what I have here. Okay. So I've got three electrical components here um, that are allowing me to let's see, did I do this right? Actually what am I doing? I'm trying to remember why that one's there. Anyway, okay, we'll figure it out here in a minute. Oh that yeah, that's right. This is my speaker. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. So uh, I've got three components here. I've got a chip, I've got a resistor, and then I've got a capacitor. 
Did I, did I do that right? I can't see the screen in the back, so if, I, if, my, if my finger's in the way, tell me, okay? Chip, then I've got a resistor right here, and then I've got a capacitor right here. And with those three things, this chip has a, a circuit in it that, that makes and breaks the connection. It will just make and break, make and break, make and break. Um, but you need to regulate the flow of voltage in order to get that behavior, and that's where the capacitor comes in. The capacitor sucks up voltage and then releases that voltage, sucks up voltage, releases that voltage. The resistor, as the name implies, is actually resisting the flow of electricity. Okay? So the higher the resistor rating is, the less electricity is going to flow. The lower the resistor rating, the more electricity is going to flow. Uh, and that's where we can control the voltage to get different pitches. Okay? So I've got, instead of, I, I, for this circuit to work, I do need power on the circuitry. So that's where I'm going to connect my 9 volts. Okay? And then I have, I have to actually connect this speaker, and I need a powered speaker. That's what this thing is, okay? Um, this is a much cheaper speaker than that one back there, okay? Yes, this little speaker, okay, my little Radio Shack special order here. Um, I can turn it on and turn it up. I probably don't want to turn it up all the way, though. Let me turn it down. There we go. Uh, it connects to these two leads in my circuit here and here. Okay, so now the sound's going to be coming out of here. Um, and what was giving me fits was this connection right here. And I, the way I got it to work was actually just to use my own skin. I can turn it up a little bit. Uh, have I convinced you that I, this is an oscillator? Yes? Okay. So the it's, it's 9 volts of electricity, so it's not going to do me any harm, okay? It, but the electricity is flowing through my skin, making the connection. And as the resistance uh, goes down, it's actually raising the, the pitch of the oscillator. And it'll get pretty high. So I'll, I'll stop it and spare your ears before it gets too high. Okay, this all told, so if I leave this, this is like a, I don't know, uh, when I bought it, it was probably a $10 speaker. This all told is not more than like $6 worth of parts right here, okay? So very cheaply, you can design and make your own fun little uh, oscillators and circuitry, okay? And if you're interested in doing that, I, I don't have any readings assigned from this book, but this book called Handmade Electronic Music is a good resource for uh, getting into circuit bending, getting into making your own circuits. Um, I have the first edition. I think they're on like the third edition now. Um, but if you're interested in getting into this, okay. Um, so the, the three things I just showed you, the moving the speaker, causing it to buzz, and building this circuit all come out of this book. And I've got, the no I've got it in my notes like which chapter it is, okay, in, the, in that book. Um, any questions about this?